Let's talk about one of the loudest sounds in the world, which is ship's sonar. Before you try to escape from the video, just know this, it's not clickbait. This sound can actually destroy any living creature with a sound. In previous video about scary underwater sounds, I have mentioned that sounds travel way better underwater. But even underwater, brain melting sound has to be created with something quite powerful. Let me introduce you to a sonar. Sonar is a machine that uses underwater sound waves to find other objects in the sea. A sonar can work by sending out sound and listening for echoes, active sonar, or by listening for sound made by the object it is trying to find, passive sonar. The one sonar that you have to worry about is the active one. And the active one is the one which generates pulsating sound which bounces off the objects. Basically bats, dolphins and some other strange animals use a similar type of technique to understand their surroundings. It is called echolocating. Even some people are capable of such feat. For example, this man is blind. But he uses his own sound to know how far away is the object. Also, he is able to distinguish what kind of material it is. Sound is measured in decibels. Decibels is a logarithmic scale, for example, 50 decibels sound is 10 times more powerful than 40 decibels. So 10 additional decibels make it 10 times more powerful. What is the loudest sound you have heard? A race car? A motorcycle? Maybe you have been at a concert. All these sounds are around 100 decibels. At this level, people tend to receive a minuscule ear damage, but we can still tolerate it. At 135 decibels, you must wear ear protection. Jet engines are pretty loud since they are from 120 to 140 decibels, enough to cause a nearby person an ear pain. At 160 decibels, you might completely lose your hearing. Before you say that your neighbor has a sound system that can do a very high decibel levels, keep in mind that these sound systems usually generate only loud, low frequency sounds, also known as bass. High frequency sounds are way more painful than low. It's because high frequency sounds affect more the nerve center. The most powerful sonars have decibel levels of 235 decibels, which is around 10 billion times louder than a jet engine, 30 meters away from the observer. That's right, up to 10 billion times louder. Not only that, but these sound waves can travel for hundreds of miles underwater and can retain an intensity of 140 decibels as far as 500 kilometers or 300 miles from the source. The submarine could easily ping from shores of Sweden and be heard at the shores of Lithuania. Of course the sound would be heard underwater, not in the air. To be able to hear sonar water ping in air, you would have to be way closer. So how does a sonar work? How is it able to create such incredibly powerful sound? A sonar is typically made out of the transducers. When we apply electricity to transducers, they convert it into mechanical motion or sound. They can also receive sound and convert it into the voltage. So not only these things can create sound, but also pick up sound and display information on the sonar screen. Basically, like a microphone, which also can make a sound. One of the most powerful sonars is SQS-26CX. This sonar is at its limits, since giving it more power would start boiling surrounding water and create bubbles. Yup, intense sound can boil water one meter from the hull and crew of submarines would be having a hard time reading surroundings when there is a sea soup boiling nearby. But if the submarine goes deeper, it takes more power to boil. So submarine sonars could use more power. And by saying more power, I'm saying up to 700,000 watts. A powerful home stereo which can drive neighbors mad may use just 250 watts. Also, sonar sounds can be concentrated into a beam. So instead of destroying everything around them, they can shoot an active ping into the needed direction. 
This makes the signal strong enough that they can bounce it off the bottom of the ocean and detect a submarine more than 65 kilometers away or 40 miles. Even if you were standing 300 meters away, which is 1000 feet from a submarine, you could still hear the sound. Keep in mind that sound is drastically reduced when it travels from water to air. Now you might be safe by staying on land, but what exactly happens if you try to swim or dive next to an active sonar? Well, you wouldn't even need to be remotely close to a submarine. Even if you were far away, the ping would still carry enough power to stun you, which would most likely drown you. During a regular maintenance, there is announcement made every half an hour while divers are working. It goes something like this. There are divers working over the side, do not blow or vent from any tank, operate any underwater equipment or activate sonar. There are divers working over the side. One navy diver was working on ship doing a corrective maintenance on the sonar. So he had to listen to a very, very, very low powered ping. He said that it was extremely unpleasant and disorienting feeling. During Vietnam War, to prevent sabotage from enemy swimmers, docked submarines would blast sonar. First of all, sonar can do around 235 decibels, and 200 decibels not only will completely destroy your hearing, but also rupture your lungs. And above 210 decibels, the lethal noise can vibrate your body tissues so hard that, for example, your brain hemorrhages and turns into a mush. But not only the brain, pretty much all your body will be ruptured. Quite possibly, even if you were 200 meters away, 650 feet, you still would be dead from hemorrhaging. In 1994, a scuba diver was accidentally pinged by US Navy sonar system. That ship was more than 160 kilometers, 100 miles northwest of the diver. The diver said that he suddenly felt strong vibration in his lungs. Let me repeat this. He was 160 kilometers away from the ship. Another time diver was hit with the sonar it happened in 1996. These Navy divers for some reason were hit with sonar and had to be hospitalized for seizures. Also, once a Hawaiian resident was in the water when the Navy was conducting their low frequency active sonar test. That poor sob was disoriented and nauseous afterward and had to see a physician who diagnosed her with symptoms comparable to acute trauma. She was only exposed to 120 decibels. And let's not forget that the sonar can do up to 235 or almost 1 trillion times more powerful ping. According to Navy, sound field around the transmitting ship will be 180 decibels up to 1 kilometer away. And from 150 to 160 decibels up to 160 kilometers away, which is 100 miles. So you can only imagine what it's like for ocean creatures. You know these videos where whales randomly wash ashore. It is believed that sonar might be the main culprit. Whales try to escape loud sounds and end up on the beaches. By the way, did you know that sonar sound you can hear in movies is not accurate? Every model of sonar system is quite unique. So they may have single tone, multiple tones, various frequencies or bursts. There are dozens of various audio clips, but according to one submarine technician, most of the sounds are either fake or just mistitled different sound. Here is the real sound from the sound of an SQS-26 system from a surface ship. So as a conclusion, sonars are extremely loud. Each ping is loud enough to temporarily boil water around the sonar device. So we can imagine what it could do to people and marine animals. 
Such vibrations rupture organs. Even if we were swimming far away from the active submarine, it could be hundreds of miles, you could still be injured. Still not as loud as a sneezing father.